You guys are a credit to the existence of the Lost History Channel on YouTube. The support our subscribers have maintained over the years is a very humbling gesture. And we are telling you guys right now that we are here to fight on this platform in our efforts to release the truth to the general public regarding historical misunderstandings. Some of you guys are not just subscribers. You are the inspiration behind some of our thoughts. And in our recent post about the collapse of the Lost History Channel and the suppression we have faced now for 12 months on YouTube this time around, our very good friend Sheila Blake reminded us that if we ever give up in the face of suppression, then we'd never get anywhere ever. And of course, we will continue producing our content just like we have done since 2011 and we probably won't ever stop because this is our actual interest and sharing what we find out is what we are going to do under any circumstances or situations. The mysteries of the past can no longer be overlooked. Countless authors and researchers are telling the civilized world to look at what is being found all the time and in this age of uncertainty, the true seekers of the world appear to be gaining more momentum than what was ever thought possible. Slowly but surely, we are opening up the gates on history. These are floodgates that have held back the truth for millennia. The flooding of truth into the civilized world is now happening. The Lost History Channel are instrumental in watching and reporting these developments. And in our own quest, we too are uncovering mind-blowing anomalies that we were previously told of in a different light. There is no doubt that people in a position of trust in the past have misinformed us. Time to sort that out one piece of history at a time. One example of this is the new discovery of a civilization in Turkey that was previously lost to history. Wait till you hear this. When it is said that someone has the magic touch when someone fixes something that was broken or rolls that lucky number, whatever you use the expression for, you should be aware that the expression comes from the King Midas. It was said that this king could do no wrong and everything he touched turned to gold. But fate would catch up with the king that could do no wrong and in this latest in a long line of major discoveries emerging from the Turkey region, a 3000 year old stela has been discovered that dates to the 8th century BC and tells of the collapse of the lost civilization that defeated Phrygia and the name Midas appears many times on this ancient artifact, seriously suggesting the King Midas of the Golden Touch myth may be the one being referred to. The inscription on the stela is telling of a time when the King Midas was taken captive. It reads that the storm gods delivered the opposing kings to his majesty. His majesty in this sense was a king named Hartapu who defeated the legendary King Midas in a battle. He is boasting about the battle on this stela and also that he captured the opposing king. It was in 2019 that a local farmer in Turkey discovered the anomalous marking while dredging a river. He then contacted the Oriental Institute in Chicago. They sent a team and according to their website, when they arrived at the scene and saw the stela sticking out of the water, they simply jumped in and began their investigation such was the immediate realization of the historical importance of such an inscription that pieces together a bit of history that was previously lost to us. Professor James Osborne of the OI, one of the foremost centers of research on the ancient world, made the following remarks about this major event when he says, right away it was clear it was ancient and we recognized the script it was written in. Lawayan, the language used in the Bronze and Iron Ages in the area. This discovery is revolutionary news in the field. They don't yet know the name of the lost kingdom, only that they had a king and there was no previous knowledge on the matter at all. In one profound moment of unexpected discovery, a flash of time emerges from the past. The discovery is incredibly fortunate. 
had the farmer not noticed the stone or shown an interest in the markings, then it is easy to see how this and indeed how we have overlooked a lot of stuff like this in the past. These discoveries, however, do help us paint a better picture of the timeline of history and indeed the goings on in the past. And this will add to previous findings in this richly archeological region. The OI translations tells of King Hartapu's conquest of the nearby kingdom of Muska, better known as Phrygia, home to King Midas. The storm gods delivered the opposing kings to his majesty. It answers a long-standing mystery. 10 miles to the south is a volcano with a well-known inscription in hieroglyphics. It refers to a King Hartapu, but no one knows who he was or what kingdom he ruled over. Until now, this was the only inscription with the name of King Hartapu. Now we know he won a battle with the well-remembered King Midas, and the search to identify this king is well underway with the OI sending a team in the summer of 2020 to commence their investigation. And of course, the Lost History Channel will be keeping tabs, making notes and keeping our subscribers right up to date with all the latest lost and ancient history news from Turkey and indeed around the world as we struggle to understand the timeline of the past and why we have forgotten so much. Anywho, this is all from us for the moment, but we will be back just shortly with more content for you guys to ponder over. Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.